Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you because of this morning. Thank you because of joy of coming to your presence. We ask and pray this morning that the entrance of your work this morning we give light unto our soul. We get us ready, prepared for this. For that message and go and listen to it very well. It's a masterpiece. And to face the wrath of God, will you be here at that time? Seven years of great tribulation. Of tribulation, will you be here? Will you be here at that time with all the knowledge you have? Will you be here at that time with all the, the ability you have? Will you be here at that time with all the administration you have ministered to other people? Oh Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Let somebody pray. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Any carelessness in my life, any form of loitering, any scoffer's lifestyle, a scoffer in the church. I am not a guy. All this, that's how they used to shout on the pulpit. That's how they used to shout. They've been shouting since I joined this church 20 years ago. Right now, has not happened. You are a scoffer already. Cleanse yourself from the spirit, the language, the loitering, and the lifestyle of the scoffer and get ready. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father, we pray for myself and for everybody. Please, Lord, make us ready. That when the trumpet sound, we shall no more be found in this world. Thank you because you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray.
Praise the Lord. Shall we rise up as we take our congregational song? From Gospel Hymns and Songs, number 173. Gospel Hymns and Songs, 173. Is it the crowning day? Jesus may come today. Glad day, glad day. And I will see my friend. Dangers and troubles will end if Jesus should come today. I may go home today. Glad day, glad day. Cement I hear their song. Hear the radiant song. If I should go home today. Why should I anxious be? Glad day, glad day. Lights appear on the shore. Storms will affright nevermore. For he is at hand today. Faithful I be today. Glad day, glad day. And I will freely tell why I should love him so well. For he is my all today. Glad day, glad day, the declining day. I live for today, for anxious be. Jesus, my Lord, I soon shall see. Glad day, glad day, is it the crowning day? <laughs>
Gospel hymns and songs, number 172. Gospel hymns and songs, 172. When the roll is called up yonder. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks, eternal bright and fair, when the saved of earth shall gather on the other shore and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. On that bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share, when his chosen ones shall gather to, a, to their home beyond the skies, and the role is called up yonder, I'll be there. Let us labor for the master from the dawn, the setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then, when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the role is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the role is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there.
Brethren, we want to go to the Lord in prayer. We've all heard about the rapture. I want you to examine yourself this morning and tell the Lord, Lord, come with me. Do not allow me to miss the rapture. Talk to the Lord from the bottom of your heart. I must not miss the rapture. Whether you be here at that time or you have passed on, the rapture is meant for every saint. You must not miss the rapture. I must not miss the rapture. Brethren, be faithful to yourself. Call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, help me. And he will help you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's time to give our tithes and offering unto the Lord. Whatever you want to offer unto the Lord this morning, open your bag, your purses, and put your hands into your pockets, and bring it out as we offer willingly unto the Lord. And let me tell you, God loves a cheerful giver. Shall we pray together? Heavenly Father, your children are willing to give unto you. And I am praying that whatever they are giving at this time, Lord, you will accept it from them and you will allow it to be used to the glory of your name and for the furtherance of the gospel in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the answer. Jesus' name we pray. Our leaders are carrying the bags around. Just raise up your hand for them to see you, to recognize you. Drop your tithe and offering as we remain in the mood of prayer. Brethren, this rapture is very important. Many of us don't understand many things about it. You need to tell the Lord, Lord, open my heart of understanding so that I will know what the rapture entails and what the rapture means. I will not miss it at all costs. Open your mouth, pray unto the Lord. Brethren, as you are dropping your offering, pray unto the Lord. The Lord is ready to help you. We must not miss the rapture. If you have made any mistake, call upon the name of the Lord. It's a merciful God. But at the end of life, it's going to be a consuming fire. Now that it's, you still have that opportunity to receive mercy from him, Call upon him this morning. He will answer your prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Brethren, we want to pray for our general superintendent. Let me tell you, this man is laboring. Day and night, I don't know. I'm just, saying, I'm just saying this now. He might not be sleeping at the time you and I will be sleeping. Just laboring so that we will make heaven at the end of the day. And you will hear the message that will be coming out from him now. He will have used precious time to prepare, to get ready for us. Why not commit this money to the hands of God? God, help him that his labor will not be in vain. Open your mouth and pray. His labor on us will not be in vain. Tell the Lord to always visit him. Strengthen him 
on a daily basis. Do new things in his life regularly. Let him not be sorrowful about any of us. Let him not hear any bad news concerning any of us. Brethren, pray for a general superintendent. See, he might be like any of us, but look at the time. He devotes his time just to help people to make heaven. Tell the Lord, Lord on daily basis, assist him. In Jesus' name we pray. The church of God will not be, will not be dull of hearing. God Almighty will prepare this church. Deep Alive Bible Church worldwide on daily basis that no one among us will be careless. Pray for the church brethren. This church must continue to make progress spiritually. Make progress numerically. Talk to God brethren. God is interested in lifting up this church to a higher ground. He will do it through your prayers and through my prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to pray for this nation, Nigeria, that there will be no unrest anymore in Nigeria. Open your mouth and pray for this nation. We continue to enjoy God's peace without any interruption. God will do it only if we will pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. Because we have the assurance that your presence is here with us. We can feel it. And I am praying, O oh Lord, throughout the service period of today, we continue to enjoy your presence in our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, eternal in the highest. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shall be seated. This is the Palai Bible Church. And anytime we come together like this, we always have visitors that are fellowshipping with us for the very first time. Please don't be ashamed. If today is your first time, of fellowship with us, of fellowship with us. Can you please rise up on your feet for recognition and for our general superintendent's greeting. Today is your first time of coming to fellowship with us. Rise up as we bring our general superintendent's greeting unto you. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. Our Father in the Lord is very happy that you are here. He wants me to tell you that you should keep on coming. And from today, your life will not remain the same in Jesus' name. Our brethren are by your side there. They will give you a sleep to fill. Collect the sleep from them. Fill it adequately and return the same to them as you finish. It's possible for them to give you a package, collect it from them also, and take it home with joy. Open it, and through it, the Lord will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Three times in a week we meet in this church. 
On Sundays, we meet together to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. We come together on Sunday to start the worship service at 7 45 in the morning. Please make yourself available all the time to attend the services. And our newcomers also. We have our churches very close to us. The period we do not come here, find out from those who invited you. They will tell you where you will get the nearest location to where you are living. Every Monday, we always gather together for Monday Bible study. It is being handled by our general superintendent at the headquarters and is transmitted live to all the locations. Our Bible study starts by six in the evening every Monday. Please be there. Members that have not been attending Monday Bible study, I'm encouraging you this morning. Try all you can to always be there. Tomorrow is another Bible study. I am going to be there. I don't know about you. Will you be there? God will help you in Jesus' name. Thursdays are days of miracles and revival. It starts by 6.30. And the third Thursdays of every month, which is referred to as Power Night, will normally start by 6 o'clock. Please don't miss any of these meetings. And as you attend, the great God of heaven will continue to shower his blessings upon your life in Jesus' name. We have God will bless us mightily in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. God bless you.
Before the Sunday message today, we shall have a brief period of scripture reading. The Acts of the Apostles, Chapter 18 After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth, and found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome, and came unto them. And because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wrought, for by their occupation they were tent-makers. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath, and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. And when Silas and Timotheus were come from Macedonia, Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was Christ. And when they opposed themselves and blasphemed, he shook his raiment and said unto them, Your blood be upon your own heads, I am clean. From henceforth I will go unto the Gentiles. And he departed thence, and entered into a certain man's house named Justus, one that worshipped God, whose house joined hard to the synagogue. And Crispus, the chief ruler of the synagogue, believed on the Lord with all his house, and many of the Corinthians hearing believed and were baptized. Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision, Be not afraid, but speak, and hold not thy peace. For I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city. And he continued there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. And when Gallio was the deputy of Achaia, the Jews made insurrection with one accord against Paul, and brought him to the judgment seat, saying, This fellow persuadeth men to worship God contrary to the law. And when Paul was now about to open his mouth, Gallio said unto the Jews, if it were a matter of wrong or wicked lewdness, O ye Jews, reason would that I should bear with you. But if it be a question of words and names and of your law, look ye to it, for I will be no judge of such matters. And he drave them from the judgment seat. 
Then all the Greeks took Sosthenes, the chief ruler of the synagogue, and beat him before the judgment seat. And Gallio cared for none of those things. And Paul, after this, tarried there yet a good while, and then took his leave of the brethren, and sailed thence into Syria, and with him Priscilla and Aquila, having shorn his head in Sincrea, for he had a vow. And he came to Ephesus, and left them there. But he himself entered into the synagogue and reasoned with the Jews. When they desired him to tarry longer time with them, he consented not, but bade them farewell, saying, I must by all means keep this feast that cometh in Jerusalem, but I will return again unto you if God will. And he sailed from Ephesus. And when he had landed at Caesarea and gone up and saluted the church, he went down to Antioch. And after he had spent some time there, he departed and went over all the country of Galatia and Phrygia in order, strengthening all the disciples. And a certain Jew named Apollos, born at Alexandria, an eloquent man and mighty in the Scriptures, came to Ephesus. This man was instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in the Spirit, he spake and taught diligently the things of the Lord, knowing only the baptism of John. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue, whom, when Aquila and Priscilla had heard, they took him unto them, and expounded unto him the way of God more perfectly. And when he was disposed to pass into Achaia, the brethren wrote, exhorting the disciples to receive him, who, when he was come, helped them much which had believed through grace. For he mightily convinced the Jews, and that publicly, showing by the Scriptures that Jesus was Christ. May God help us to be doers of the world. Amen. I'm grateful to be here to share the testimony of what the Lord has done in my life. He delivered me from kidney problems. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Lopai. In the month of July, I felt sick. The sickness was so serious in my life to an extent I cannot stand up. I cannot sit down. I was just lying helplessly. When the doctor tested me, he found out that I have high blood pressure, which affected my kidney. The doctor referred me to Federal Medical Center that we should go there. I'm Dr. Charles Emuche. Emmanuel Opai was brought in here a few months ago by a lady nurse I know. He was admitted in a private hospital here in Aba. At that point, he was diagnosed of renal failure. When he came here, he was so down, he couldn't walk. He was, had general edema. That means he was swollen up. The mobility level was low. Everything was down. Turn around the test, the creatinine was very high, uh, 3.0. The urea was about 70, and I, I gave them the result. Then my group pastor, have to phone the state overseer who told him to ask me to come to secretariat because Jesus is going to pray for people that have problems. And when we came there with my group pastor and Jesus was connected and he prayed for us, after the prayer, I feel some sensation in my body that I am healed. Praise the Lord. And then, to confirm, I went back to the doctor. I went back to the doctor. When, the, when I came in, the doctor smiled and said, Pastor, the Lord has healed you. A few weeks later, he came back and told me he wanted to rerun the test again. When he came, he was stronger this time. Unlike what he was there, I was amazed. I was surprised. I will run the test again. found that all the renal parameters have corrected. Everything was normal at this time. Creatine was 1.2 milligram per deciliter. And also the, the urea was not 37. It was strong and healthy and sound. Before, I cannot do like this. I cannot do anything. I cannot stand up. Thank God that the Lord has delivered me. Praise the Lord. I'm grateful for what the Lord has done for me. What the devil planned to, to shorten my life, it didn't work out for him. Ikiti is the place to be where the GCK comes to be. Transformation is underway with triumph and victory. With faith and hope, we come together to seek the Lord and be filled with wonders. We raise our voices in joyful song as we know miracles await. 
as we know salvation awaits. I'm Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Adeyeka Adibasoy, the President of the Baptist Conference and the Chairman of Christian Association of Nigeria, the State. I have the honor to invite all churches, all believers, to the global crusade that is being organized by our beloved father, the pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi, who by the special grace of God is coming to Ekiti. The crusade is taking off between December 22nd to 27th this year. God is set to visit Ekiti land. And we are glad to receive this man of God in the land. The crusade is tagged great transformation for total triumph, which is going to be held in the Deeper Life Bible Church Campground, Ajiba Medele, Adoi Kere Road, in Adoi Kiti. The crusade is going to be aired all over the world. Because as it's going on in the Kiti State, several people from all over the world will be participating in this crusade. God bless you as you come for total transformation, for deliverance, for healing, and for the salvation of your soul. It's going to be a great opportunity for you to be part of this crusade. God bless you as you come. Joy in the city, joy in your life, joy in your family, and joy everywhere in Jesus' name. From the land of honor and integrity comes two in one GCK live in Ekiti State, Southwest Nigeria. The Global Crusade and Retreat, December 22 to 27, 2022, with Jonathan White, our guest music minister. GCK, the gospel to every creature.
Love so many. 